to the manufacturer's website, it'll say it works good with the 75 too. Honestly, if you could have 75 pounds in there, that's what you'd want. You'd want more mechanical back pressure, right? But right now, nozzle pressure is back pressure. So if I wanted 75 pounds of back pressure, I'd have to pump this at 75. What's a 7 8 at 75? It's what LA City has, 275. This nozzle is 275. That's almost 80-something pound nozzle rack. Nobody wants that, so we want that 60 pounds. But when you look at this, when you flow it, tank attack and you introduce water into your pump and your average hydrogen pressure is 80 what would it normally mean on your bread and butter operation with 200 feet on the ground what would the engineer have to do he has to while while he's while he's introducing water volume probably your pump idles around 50 and pressure is probably more i'm guessing you're in volume now right okay so your rigs idle at 50 so what you want to do is you want to try to remove variables from the fire ground and insert constants, all right? So if I can magically get my 50 PSI nozzle pressure and stiff the hose, I'm going to remove kinks. Where are the most dangerous kinks? Inside the ideal H. Where's the hose the softest? Inside the ideal H. Inside the ideal H, all right? Inside the ideal H. On your layout around the bush, the tricycle, whatever, are you always going to have a really clean layout? So what, what's the engineer usually, once he charges, he doesn't want to charge at 150 because they're going to have too much. So he'll set at 110 and you, I like RPM, rip it open, but it's still going to go to those first kinks. So what do you do initially as an engineer? You help knock out the kinks and the other guys knock out the kinks so then they get good pressure, right? If you had an extra 25 pounds of nozzle pressure, you would have 33 less 33% more mechanical force, so 33% less kinks, right? So now, if you're the backup man, if you're the backup man and you're put, the nozzle's flowing. Derek, where are you? Right here. I didn't flow the nozzle for a second. So what's more likely to form a kink while he's flowing? A 50 PSI back pressure or a 75 PSI back pressure? 50. 50, it'll, it'll kink easier. Now this is really good hub. Right? So it doesn't want a kink. Right? So it doesn't do that. Right? That's it. The other thing, when he's moving forward, what do you do as a backup man? Feed him. Right? And see how it bends right in front of me and I'm not getting any holes in front of me? It's because I have less, the holes are less stiff and there's less back pressure. So when you're in 50 PSI, the way I tell people, 